everyone welcome to the channel today in this video we'll continue our discussion on the logic app integration service so far we have covered four different videos on logic app series and wherein we discuss about the basics of the logic app logic app workflows stateful versus stateful versus the stateless workflow today in this particular video i'll be talking about the different types of logic app i mean we have the consumption as well as the standard logic apps available logic app service available in microsoft azure so what those different type of logic app services and how you can use those services in your integration program hi my name is rakesh surivanshi and you're watching be a learner so here in my azure portal i have two different type of logic app created as you can see that i have a logic app which is of type logic app and i have another logic app which i have given a name as the standard logic app you can give any name by the way this is just to differentiate this demo i have given a name as the standard logic app and you can see that the type says that the logic app standard now what does it means the standard versus non-standard logic app so if i look at the if i open the standard if i open the consumption tier logic app or the non-standard logic app i'll get just this logic app designer wherein i can create a single workflow i can design my workflow within that particular logic app so obviously to design any workflow in any type of logic app the very first thing you need is a trigger type so you have to to start designing your workflow you have to choose which what is going to be your trigger type so there are listed options available here on the designer portal you can choose any of them there are a number of them available and then you can start designing your workflow now with the consumption based option this is a logic app think think about a logic app as a web application hosted in or on to a microsoft azure infrastructure on managed by the microsoft azure so platform is managed by azure now you don't have any control what is the uh, pricing tier or what is the infrastructure specification looks like because it is a consumption tier it might be shared across the different customers or the different services as well so your logic app has been hosted on a shared platform i mean now this means that the the capacity or the logic app performance will be limited uh, if you go for the consumption tier and there are some additional features which you cannot opt if you go for the consumption tier now why do i need to use the consumption tier well if you are starting learning a logic app and you just need to focus on the different integration features available within the logic app then to start with it on a lower price model i would say you should use the consumption based logic app here you just need to create a logic app and, and don't worry about the infrastructure and all and focus on your workflow integration design that's it there are some other features which are only dedicated to the uh, standard logic app which if i just open the logic app standard which you can see here this is my standard logic app here i get a overview here I get an overview and here in the overview, you can see that it, ha it has the detail about the logic app. Uh, I can create multiple workflows within the logic app. So like in the consumption based logic app, I was able to just create a single workflow. Whereas in this case, I got an entire container as in logic app and within that container, I can create a number of workflows. Now, where exactly that particular container is being deployed? So this logic app containers or logic app is being hosted under the app service plan. So when you create a logic app, which is of type of standard, you have to specify which app service plan you would like to host your logic app. So in this case, you can see that I have created a app service plan for my standard logic app. And then that also requires a storage account to store all your logic app logs in case if you are basically storing uh, if, if you are creating a workflow which is of type stateful then it will store all your logs onto that particular storage account so i, I need two additional component to create a standard logic app uh, storage account and app service plan now app service plan is just an infrastructure as a service wherein you will get your own 
app service or web 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 host uh, you will get your own web house platform wherein you can deploy your different applications so uh, here the application means the different logic apps so it means that a single app service plan can have multiple logic apps or a same app service plan can host a logic app a function app or app service anything you can host into the same app service plan now as i can deploy the multiple logic apps within the same app service plan which i can see the details about that particular app service plan from here which is this one you can see that this is my app service plan detail and at the moment currently i just have one app which is my standard logic app but i can also deploy multiple of them which was not the case into the consumption based logic app now the other feature what we have here with the standard logic app is you can define the built in or managed connections within the logic app configuration so let's say if i can define a connection to connect to the key vault to connect to the app service plan or connect to the storage account or any other sftp or any other service basically so all those connection will be added here as in json view or i can see uh, see the U, ui representation of those connections available here similarly i can define the different number of parameters uh, within the logic app and all those parameters can be defined here and these parameters and connection can be shared across the different different workflows so for example if my logic app has three workflows then those three workflows can share the connection and the parameters uh, from which have been defined here in this particular section similarly the artifacts schemas liquid maps xslts all those things i can define it at the logic app level and those can be shared across again at the workflow level as well similarly the app service like you have an app service and in that particular app service you have the configuration settings or the app settings similarly in this logic app also which is a standard logic app you will get an option to specify the configuration so for example i can specify the configuration to read a key vault secret or specify the connection uh, connection string details to connect to my storage account or connect to the service bus and all those things basically app setting configuration which what you specify in the app settings or web app or azure function similar experience you will get with the standard logic app standard logic app sum up also has some of the additional features such as the manage identity so you can enable the manage identity which is currently by default enabled when i created the logic app so you can enable and disable the logic app manage identity and then you can deploy or connect uh, to the different azure services using this particular identity provider like so basically in in short when you go or you choose the standard logic app you will get all the features with that particular logic app what you get in the app service or the function app such as the custom web app or ssl or networking you can restrict your logic app to a particular network boundary so that it will not be accessible from the outside of the network i can scale up or scale down the logic app based on my requirements so i can get a more power for my logic app i can uh, scale up the a uh, compute power of my logic app app service plan which kind of right now it is ws1 so i can opt for ws3 or or any other tier or even i can go for the isolated as well right so these 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 are the kind of some some different uh, you know configuration which you can opt for uh, when you choose the standard logic app i hope this has given you some idea about what is the standard and what is the consumption based logic app if it is please let me know and if it is give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any question please write down your question on the comment below thanks for watching it see you in the next video